Hey everyone, thank you for watching. In today's video I'm really excited to do. It's gonna be a little bit different for me, but I'm gonna be doing an eye swatching video using this ColourPop Vault, the Heart of Gold Super Shock Shadow Vault. This is with the Disney Princesses, so there's 12 different Super Shocks in here. I was so excited to receive this in PR. I really, really wanted it. I had said in my will I buy it if I didn't get it. I was gonna buy it anyways. I've been more into the ColourPop Super Shocks as of recently. The Disney Princess theme kind of pulled me in. So did some of these shades. And I don't usually do eye swatching videos. Uh, I'll link that girl shade down below. I know that she does them a lot. I know that she's done one for this ColourPop set. But I wanted to try on all the shades on my eyes anyways. So I thought, why not make a video about it? So let's go ahead and get started. So welcome. So like I said, I don't do eye swatching videos a ton. I don't really do like tutorial type of videos a ton. I usually just chat about makeup. But like I said, I was interested on in trying all of these different shades on my eyes anyways. So I figured why not make this video. This set did already come out. So like I'm being a terrible YouTuber because like I should have gotten it up right away. But that's okay. It's still available at the time that I'm filming. Still available. Um, it is $62 and it retails for $84. And again, you have the 12 different Super Shocks in here. So I'm just going to go through. I'm going to swatch each one on my eyes and see what I think of them. I'm really excited about this, actually. So uh, let me get this open. So once you open it up, it looks like so. So we're just going to start at the top. I'm just going to do one eye, one eye, and uh, keep going from there. All right, so the first shade we have is I'm Wishing. And this one is described as a silver with ultra fine glitters. I think this one has an apple on here. So I'm thinking that is Snow White. I don't know if I'm going to know all of the princesses like uh, by their little symbols. So let's see how I do. Feel free to correct me in the comments. I guess I should just zoom you in, huh? Probably help if you could see my eyes. I'm telling you, I do not do eye swatches very often. So we will just see how this goes. So here is I'm wishing. And I'm just I'm going to use my fingers to apply these because that is how I apply the super shocks. So this is my second time coming in to build it up. Ooh. So to me this almost has a little bit of pink in it also. I don't mind that. I'm actually going to come in third time and just pop that on mm, I do not mind I do not mind I'm trying to think of what that girl Shay does I think she usually does something along these lines but this is I'm wishing next up we have how far I'll go which is described as a bright warm champagne but this is how far I'll go Ooh. all right so this is pass number two that's I ooh. This is a definite me color right now. And it's shimmery without being like glittery. It just kind of gives that like shiny, wet looking effect to the eye, which I really, really like. Ooh. Like it's not too overpowering, not too intimidating, kind of more like an everyday type of wear. Ooh, how far I'll go. Which, pr which princess is this? Help me out. How far I'll go. I really like this one though. Mm. Remembering how fun it is to wipe off your eye every time and reapply concealer and come back. I don't, like, I don't know how Shay does these type of videos because woo, like on a consistent basis. Woo! Next up we have Once Upon a Dream. This one is described as a rose with a dual chrome coral flip and gold pinpoints. All right, okay. So this one is Once Upon a Dream, Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty? Oh. Oh, 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 I like this one. Oh, okay. I've been into the Super Shocks more because I feel like there's some fun shades where it's like you can literally just put it all over your lid. I know I'm not like blending and like, you know, doing all of the things right now, but I'm just trying to give you an idea of what they would look on the eyes if you're still interested in, in purchasing the vault. Of course, we'll link everything down below, but that is really pink, but look at all the beautiful gold in here. Oh, Once Upon a Dream. Ooh, this one is really pretty. I keep thinking I'm going to cover the eye that I've put the swatch on. I'm just trying to channel that girl shit. That's really all I'm doing. Just blatant copycat over here. Okay. Do we see it? 
Oh, I like this one. Then we have Beauty and the Beast, and this one is an icy gold with pink pinpoints. I really have no idea what um, Disney princess this one would be after. We'll just all have to like take our best guess. But let's see. Oh, this is such a bell shade. Oh, how cute. How cute. I mean, obviously, I, I feel like we all knew it was going to have to be some sort of gold or yellow or something along those lines. But how pretty is this one? Once again, not quite as like intense as once upon a dream it's kind of more of that kind of like a wet gold look Ooh, I, ooh, I don't wear gold all that often but i feel like i've been getting into it a little bit more i've been wearing a lot of gold jewelry and that sort of thing but that is pretty Ooh, that is pretty all right so this one here is beauty and the beast next up we have reflection Whew. This one is a rich burgundy with a copper duochrome shift. This looks, whoa, this looks really stunning. Okay, I've lost my mirror for the third time. How do I keep doing this? Wow, wow, my goodness. That is, once again, a, a wet looking shade. Ooh. And this one, it's like, I feel like you needed a really, really small amount of product. Like, I definitely went overboard. So, it's a good thing I do have dinner plans with my mom and aunt tonight, the night that I do an eye swatching video. That's good. I'm really glad that I'm going to go in public, especially wearing a mask so you can only see my eyes. And they are going to be looking great. <laughs> um, but there is reflection. That's really beautiful. That is really gorgeous. Wow, that's like a that's like a show stopping state. Show stopping shade. There we go. Next up we have Touch the Sky. This is a teal with gold and teal pinpoints. I'm telling like just these shades, I loved the variety in here, but some of these shades just looked so fun. And so unique like I I actually I mean I know I touched on this in a Willy Bite video but I was saying that not all Colourpop releases always get me super jacked just because there's so many of them you know we always have so many different options that we can choose from when it comes to Colourpop but every once in a while something comes along and my eyes get a little bit wider and I'm like oh whoa 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 wait 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 and uh, this was just one of those looking at all the different shades inside I was like I am just hella curious about this so Ooh, that is a fun one. I don't wear blues all that often, but what a gorgeous shade. This could make like a fun liner too, or a fun like pop on the lower lash line. I'm sorry my blending is like so terrible and then I'm just using my finger, but that's how I would apply them. And they're so easy to work with. Touch the sky. Also, please leave the princesses. Like, I wish they had listed the different princesses on the ColourPop website to help people like myself. Um, but you know, I've never said that I was a master at uh, Disney characters <laughs> That's definitely not me. Next up we have Color of the Wind and this one is described as an an uh, Antiqued gold with pinky pinpoints. Isn't that a song Color of the Wind? I could be completely wrong. Oh also the blue did Was a little bit hard to remove um, I, I gave it my best shot, but the blue just wanted to mention that that it was a little bit challenging So this one is another gold, but unlike Beauty and the Beast that one was definitely More on I'm gonna say like the yellow gold side and this one is more of that kind of like old <laughs> old cold <laughs> antiqued gold almost like a little bit more of a Dirty gold I think is what I'm trying to say but that's actually really pretty. I actually think I might like this better than Beauty and the Beast. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's a nice gold. Okay, I actually really like this shade. And like I said, I'm not much into golds, but this one's doing it for me. Next up we have Down in New Orleans, which I believe is the Princess and the Frog. I'm pretty sure. This one is described as an icy sage with gold and teal pinpoints. I was really curious about this one when I saw it, Ooh, when I saw it in the uh, packaging there. I really hope this video is like going smoothly and you can like see it. Cause like I said, I just don't do these very often. So I'm not used to them. I'm usually just, you know, 
kind of laid back half the time i'm like leaning on my desk behind me just chilling so this like the whole setup is just kind of throwing me off and hopefully i will be inserting close-ups and swatches and all of that all of that good stuff also We'll see how much fun editing Samantha has with this with this one. So this one is definitely lighter. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the first one, that kind of like silver um, pinky shade. So I'm going to come in for a third time. Uh, but it's still really pretty. If you like something that's a little bit softer but still fun because it's still a fun, um, you know, sage green shade. But without being like too, too much. Hmm. I do not mind that. I do not mind that. So again, this one is down in New Orleans. Next up we have Under the Sea. I think I know that this might be Ariel. Uh, this one is described as a bright seafoam green, seafoam green with a golden sheen. Also when I saw this one, I was like, yes, I'm very excited to test this one out. So Under the Sea, let us see <laughs> Ooh, this one is fun too once again it's gonna be not you know it's not gonna deliver like as much impact as some of the more neutral shades are but whoa that is still a fun shade it's a little it has that little bit of an iridescent shift to it it looks like oh Ooh, I like this one a lot oh this will be so easy to just literally just like do what I'm doing except you know a little bit slower Maybe a little bit more precise, but then just blending it out a little bit, like, <gasps> ooh, ooh, under the sea. <gasps> it's going to be really hard for me to choose a favorite. Do I have to choose a favorite? I probably don't have to, right? I mean, it's my video. I've also been very excited to try Arabian Nights because this one is for Jasmine. It was I would say Jasmine then Belle. That would be those are like my 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 top two if you would like make me choose. Again, I'm not always so into blues, but I just I saw this one. I was like, hello. So let's give Arabian Nights a shot here. Ooh, okay. So once again, very, very light. A lot of a lot of shimmer to this one. Uh this one might be really good, actually at, a little bit more as like a topper versus doing it uh, alone, but with it being blue, and again me not wearing blue a ton, I could actually see myself wearing this, maybe just with like, I'm trying to think of what shade I would want blended into my crease, if I would want a brown or, I'm not sure, but just like a little, a little something blended into the crease and then this all over. But look at that really pretty shimmer. Ooh. Honestly, this one kind of gives me like Cinderella vibes with how light blue it is. And like a little bit more of like the silver sparkle. I don't know. I don't know if I fully get Jasmine from this one. I don't know. What do you think? I'll be curious to see your comments, but this one is Arabian Nights. Okay, final two, looking sufficiently crazy, which is great. This one actually doesn't have anything on the back, so I was like, oh no, what what is this? But this one is I See the Light. All right, I See the Light. This one is an icy pink lavender with golden and violet pinpoints. Okay, dokies. This is I See the Light. Ooh, this is fun. Oh, okay. This one to me is kind of like the most wet looking shadow <laughs> it feel really funny when i say that but um this is really pretty though oh my goodness i like this a lot this is like this was like putting liquid onto my eyes oh that's pretty still some purple in there oh this kind of surprised me i don't know what i was thinking with this one but this one is really really pretty oh i like Oh, this one is I See the Light. So sorry. And then last up, we have A Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes. This one is for Cinderella. This is described as an icy silver blue. All right. Okay, I can definitely also see Cinderella with the shade, of course. But I don't know, the Jasmine one, like I'm kind of sad because Jasmine is my favorite. And I feel like hers to me screamed more Cinderella. But this is really pretty. This one is a little bit more, I would say just like slightly more muted actually than Arabian Nights, which had a lot more um, of the glitter to it. This one is just um, 
a little bit more on the shimmery side but i really do like that pale blue that's a pretty shade without once again without being like too too overwhelming right so again this is a a dream is a wish your heart makes that is quite a name aries is letting you know that she's here with me also doing these eye swatches i wish she could actually do the eye swatches though <laughs> The eyes are looking a little bit crazy, but that is it for the 12 eye swatches. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing these because I had a lot of fun trying all of them out. There were some in here that I <laughs> that I really, really liked. Um, a good neutral shade, How Far I'll Go, that was the second one. Uh, I thought that was really beautiful. I mean, this antiqued gold in Colors of the Wind, I'm really surprised that that one stuck out to me but I thought that was really pretty also. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna put, I keep forget, I see the light or something like that, the, the second to the last one, what I have right here, the one that doesn't have the sticker on the back, of course. This is actually really pretty. I think I'm gonna take this off and then just put this on in my mascara and then go to Nacho Daddy tonight. Nacho Daddy, Nacho Daddy. Anyways, I also really liked that one, but then some of the blues and the greens too, you know, they're not like my, I was going to say they're not like my everyday shades because I do go for neutrals a lot, but something about having them in the Super Shock uh, formula is just making them so much easier to work with. It's just so funny to me because I really used to not enjoy the Super Shocks and then this comes, like I, I've been really enjoying them recently and then this comes out and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to try all of them. So again, this is still available on the ColourPop website. It is $62. I do have a code with them. It's 5 Samantha. I think it still works. I believe it's for $5 off orders of 20 or more. I know it doesn't always work on everything and so, like at one point I think it was like a one-time use so I don't I will list it down below I can't guarantee it's gonna work it's not an affiliate code it's just for you um, or you can purchase them individually for seven dollars if there's you know one or two shades that really call out to you but this is so much fun thank you so much to Colourpop for sending this over um, I mean I know that I would have told you if it's sponsored but obviously it's not a sponsored video but I just really, I wanted to try all the shades on my eyes, so I thought, why not sit down and try it? I hope that you enjoyed it. This isn't my normal type of video, so I don't know how... Oh, my hairstylist is calling me one second. <laughs> Hello. Okay, uh, where was I? Um, I'm not really sure what I was saying, but just that I hope that this video went okay. Again, not my normal style, but I hope that you at least still found it helpful. I had fun with it, and it really helped me out because I think some of the shades that I was drawn to... I might not have known unless I had actually put them on my eyes. So yeah, I hope you found it helpful. Again, I will link it down below. I'd love to know if you picked up the set or if you are picking up any of the individual shadows. As always, though, if you enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.